All right, uh, we're looking at solutions, which is a homogeneous mixture composed of at least one solute mixed with a solvent. And the solvent is the one that's present in the largest amount. So usually in this class, that'll be water. In other words, we're talking about aqueous solutions. Uh, there are many ways to describe a solution concentration. You're already familiar with molarity, capital M, moles of solute per liter of solution. But you also have lowercase m, moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. You also have mole fraction, abbreviated capital X. That's the moles of whatever chemical you're looking at divided by the total number of moles. You can also talk about a percentage. And in this class, percentage will always be by mass. So grams of A divided by total grams times 100%. And very dilute solutions are usually measured in parts per million ppm or parts per billion ppb. Both of these have very similar fractions. Grams of A divided by grams of the whole solution. Parts per million, you multiply by a million, 10 to the 6th. Parts per billion, you multiply by a billion, 10 to the 9th. So the first type of question we're going to deal with is a straightforward calculation of, in this case, the percent of sodium chloride. If you mix 35 grams of sodium chloride, 100 grams of water, you're told that the density of this solution is 1.16 grams per milliliter, and we want to know what is the mass percent, and secondly, what is the molarity of sodium chloride. The percent of sodium chloride, if you follow the definition, percent sodium chloride would be grams of sodium chloride divided by grams of the solution times 100%. The grams of sodium chloride is given as 35. Grams of the whole solution, and here is a key formula we're going to use again and again and again, Grams of the whole solution is grams of all the solute added to the grams of the solvent. So in this particular problem, we have 35 plus 100, 135 grams of the whole solution. Turn it into a percentage by multiplying by 100, and you get just under 26% by mass salt. The other part was calculate the molarity of sodium chloride. So this would be moles of sodium chloride divided by liters of solution. The moles of sodium chloride you can get from the grams of sodium chloride. And remember your conversion factors. Grams to moles comes from the molar mass. So you use the periodic table to convert grams into moles. Sodium chloride is 58.44 grams per mole. The liters of the solution, we know in this problem the mass of solution, 135 grams, and grams of solution can be turned into milliliters using the given density. 1.16 grams per milliliter. So 1 milliliter, 1.116 grams, and then we have to convert milliliters into liters. That'll give us the answer for molarity. Just over five moles per liter. 